In this lecture, we now want to have a look at how we can access the web. We want to search by using some search engines like Google or Bing Chat to just enhance the capabilities. Like this, the results will be more accurate. It will be more up to date. We will have just a whole more capabilities and also including some sources where this has been found. So it's an incredible important feature in my opinion. Previously, it was available directly in GPT-4 to select from this list. For now, this has been removed, but it might become available again in the future. In the meantime, we have an alternative solution for this. And this is using a plugin, which in my opinion, it works incredibly well and I'm super happy with this. So to do this, we will just of course select the plugins first and then we want to click on this little drop down and open up the plugin store. And in here, we are just searching for web search. And this will bring up mixer box web search. This will use the Google search API and we can directly access the web. So we just click on install and then we can close this and we just open up a new chat window. And in here we can now demonstrate this by, for example, asking a simple question like how many people live in Copenhagen in 2023? Then this plugin is triggered, it will access the web and also we will get a result. So we see this is the answer and we can see if we are just searching for this in Google, this will actually be the correct answer. If we also add 2023, we can see exactly this is the correct answer and we even get some sources. So in here we can see one and two, these are the sources. So that's pretty great because now we have really up-to-date knowledge and this is even connected with some sources. We can also ask a little bit of a more specific question like what is the area of Copenhagen in square kilometers? Again, this plugin is triggered. We will get a response directly to the question that we have asked. And also we get some source connected to this, which is in my opinion, really, really great. Now let's have a look at a little bit of a more realistic example that is very useful in practice. What we want to do is we want to get a summary of a video. So this is a TED talk on the future of AI and this is a video that is available on YouTube and we want to just have a summary of this video. And for example, we want to know what this video is about. So we just have a quick summary on this video. And now we could also say, please present it in a table. Let's execute it and see what we get back as a response. And I can continue to say, please add a more detailed description. In this case, we have to keep in mind that this is based on the video's description. If we want to analyze videos, we need to use another plugin, but this is also possible. But we now want to use this plugin to plan a trip to Los Angeles. So we just want to have some suggestions for things that we can do. We can include, of course, what we like, some sightseeing maybe. So we are prompting this and we get back the answer with a detailed plan on things that we can do. And if we want, we can also add, please add some useful links. And in this case, compared to the previous one, we now have also some additional links added. And we have seen that this has triggered this plugin multiple times to get multiple of these useful links. So this can be very helpful. In the next example, I want to get some summary information about the latest news. So I'm just giving some explanation. I'm a personal finance expert and I just want to get the finance news from the previous week. And I need an easy to read compressed summary of the key events. So using this plugin, ChatGPT selects finance related news articles, updates and economic indicators that can be useful for the previous week. And then as we can see, we get a substantial amount of information that ChatGPT process and analyzes and presents it in a very concise and easy to read summary. 
And additionally, in this case, we have the latest finance news from this link that has been also posted in here and all of these sources have been also added into this summary which is of course super useful in making sure that the information is actually accurate let's go to our last example let's assume in this case i want ChatGPT to search for the top five law firms extract their contact information and provide me with a structured list of email addresses so that i can use this for my work because i might want to contact them for legal representation and then i will just use this plugin and afterwards i get exactly the result that i was asking for And we can see in this case, the plugin has again been triggered multiple times for multiple web searches. And once all the data is collected, JetGPT organizes it into a structured list. So thanks to the ability to use the web search, I now have a comprehensive list of contact information for the top law firms in New York City. And I hope this is now demonstrating the incredible potential of accessing the web browsing features with JetGPT. We have now covered some really great use cases, but of course, as always, I encourage you to go further and test some other use cases for yourself. In the next lecture, we want to quickly also have a look at working with images. Mm -hmm.